So that's why people are getting mad. And look at Dana Point. Look at San Clemente. You've got churches down there feeding people, right? We don't, as much as I hate to say this, right? Don't feed. It's like, you know, they say don't feed birds. Don't do, don't print, you know, if you start providing these kinds of this help to people, it becomes a magnet and it, it just provides additional excuses. The beaches have showers. They have people bringing food and meals. So why wouldn't people want to hang out on the beach? Now, we, we had uh, a lot of people contact us about San Clemente, and we had a guy send us a video where men are urinating in the street. They're pleasuring themselves for the camera. Uh, John, that's they, an arrestable offense. Those are arrestable offenses. Right. Uh, urinating he, in public, okay? He, he and others who are contacting us are blaming you and the rest of the supervisors. They think you did some kind of dump into San Clemente. Because he's like you know, almost overnight, it seems that there, there, there's dozens and dozens all over the place. Well, listen, I'm very sympathetic, and look, as you well know, when my colleagues said they were going to put, you know, tents in Laguna Niguel, Huntington Beach, and Irvine, I went around and said, hell no, and I strongly believe that's not the solution. It's not going to be the solution. It got rescinded. But look what happened in South Orange County, which Dana Point and San Clemente are in. What did the mayor say? <laughs> they all met. And did they say, we're going to find a location in South Orange County proper? No. They said, let's put it out in Silverado Canyon, which coincidentally is my district, you know, miles from anything. <laughs> so yeah, I know. But so think about that, right? I mean, you have to have a shelter in a location that's near or adjacent to where well, the people live and where you have services. So, so I, I don't want to cut you off, Todd, but, but wait. Did you, did you answer John's question? The answer is... Do you remember my I, question? Are these people, were they directed to San Clemente? There was, a, there was a percentage based upon the riverbed that was distributed on the judge's orders. If you remember the motel vouchers, we screened every single individual for services. So they got sent there, to motels and, in San Clemente, and now they've wandered out of the motels. What, I, I cannot necessarily say that's not true. What wow. I can tell you is I cannot no, no, say listen, that's not what true. I can tell you it means it's true. Let's analyze that. Yeah. That no, 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 means it's John, true. I'm not John, you've known me long enough to know. I don't BS you. What I'm telling you is that we assessed every single person no matter where they went in the county. And if they refused services, those people were, you know, ejected from those motels. That wasn't going to be forever. But this is what I okay. confirmed this so, afternoon. So, all right, we have gotten a lot of complaints in San Clemente in the last 24 hours. Yeah. And we, we, you know, we, we're going to follow up on all this stuff. Mm. So what are you telling these people? Because they're really pissed. So They should be pissed. They should uh, what, 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 they, what? I'd be pissed too, John. Uh, I understand you would be. What should they do or what should they expect that you or somebody else is going to do? So this is what they got to expect. Tomorrow, the mayors of South County are meeting again. And they are charged by the federal judge with coming up with a location you got to remember, these numbers are not overwhelming yet in South County, and we've got to make sure they don't become like the Riverbed. That's why we need solutions. So what they should know is that my blue shirts, or the county's blue shirts, are going to be deployed into San Clemente and Dana Point specifically to screen all those people, okay, to make sure that we're providing them all the services and making sure they're offered that. So that's number one. Number two, the sheriff has to be able to arrest these people. Okay, the idea that if they're committing crimes, the stuff you described, that is not vagrancy. That's criminal activity. All right. And so those are crimes. And there's no excuse why those individuals shouldn't be arrested. And number three, the judge has put the burden on South County. And you know that happened. They came up with Silverado. It's not going to be Silverado to come up with a location that can house the homeless in some location. Why? So that if they don't accept that shelter, they're subject to arrest for vacancy. In other words, what people have to appreciate is the key to the ability to arrest and clean up our streets and deal with this as a public safety and a public health issue is the ability to have an empty bed that can be filled by somebody who is homeless, whether they take it or not. Does that make sense? Yeah. And if they don't take it, then you've got the leverage to then forcibly the remove leverage. them. Then I've got the leverage. That's the key. So I need the South County folks to come up with a solution in the area so that whether the people take the bet or not, I've got a thousand beds in the Orange County jail I can fill up. All right, Todd, we got to go. We thank you for coming on for the update. 
All right. Anytime, gentlemen. Thanks. All right. Todd Spitzer, Orange County Board of Supervisors.